new lecture series of theory of automata and formal languages um, i am very much uh, thankful for everyone to uh, look into the videos and uh, we are actually into unit number one where we are learning about finite automata so we have done a lot of things uh, in this particular unit uh, where we have learned about uh, this deterministic finite automata its construction then uh, we have seen NFA, non-deterministic finite automata. We have also seen how to convert a non-deterministic finite automata into finite deterministic finite automata. We have also seen uh, uh, the topics like uh, epsilon NFA, okay, minimization of DFA, okay. These all topics has been covered, okay. Now we will be looking into an, another type of, uh, uh, another concept, okay, uh, where uh, you can find uh, two, uh, two, uh, Two, two finite automata combined together and into one and then uh, you have to construct that that means you can get two different type of languages and uh, you have to merge those two languages generally we say as compound finite automata okay, let us take three examples for this and we will let you know how to work on this okay so uh, basically let me uh, look into one example where it is given as construct a minimal finite automata Okay, generally we have to, uh, when it is said as minimal finite automata, already is said in minimal and that also final, finite automata. So we will be considering a deterministic finite automata only. Okay, so that accepts all the strings of A and B. That accepts all the strings of A and B. Correct. So uh, for that, I will be taking uh, one example. I haven't given the uh, language right now. So I will give the example as there is one A, there is one A or one B or one B. See how, uh, how uh, like uh, two languages have been merged like, like either one A or one B. So two cases are there. So in as if you get like this kind of uh, uh, state uh, languages where or and and is given to you then you think you will be comprising of the concept of compound finite automata okay so how to work on this first i will make one finite automata finite automata one okay and this finite automata one will consider there is one a and the other finite automata will comprises of there is one b clear so finite then if i talk about only one a or one b so how the uh, diagram will be correct so that we have to consider so let me check uh, how uh, let me give, give you the finite automata for first one okay so if it is one a so that means initial state will be like this i have taken as uh, let it be q naught okay one a that means this will be your final state so let it be q1 correct 1a done now there is no restriction over b because it is says that that accepts all the strings of a and b so there is no restriction over b so what i can do i can put a self loop over here for b and i can also put a self loop over here b clear now i have already told you that minimal finite automata means we have to consider a dfa only we have to construct a dfa only is this a dfa no, it's not a DFA because for Q0, it's it's perfectly fine. For A, there is one transition. For B, there is one transition. It is moving from one state to another state. But for Q1, there is only one transition for B. I cannot take any transition for A as we have to consider only one A. Correct? So what I can do, I can take the help of one more state. Let it be named as Q2. Okay? And this will be for A. And here I can take a self loop as a comma b. So this q2 will act as a dead state. You have already learned about dead state. If there is any problem with the construction from a language of from a language to a particular DFA, please look into my earlier videos. Okay. So this is done. Now you can say that the this is in entirely this is in NFA. Okay. Now moving to finite automata number two, it will be like same. I will be using like q2. I have done now q3 okay so q3 what it will be uh, there is one b so similar way i will draw one b okay and this will be your q4 okay and then uh, uh, okay one b is done so this will be your final state correct 
Okay, now there is no restriction over A, so I can take a self loop over here. And here also I can take a self loop. And since uh, this is, is the same way, since this is not a DFA for the state Q4, so I will take a transition for a transition for B and I will take the help of one more state known as Q5 and this will act as a date state. Clear? Now this is done for FA2. Now we are having two uh, finite automatas. One is considering there is only one A and that one is where well, there is only one B. Now I have to do compound automata that is also known as a normal product or cross product. Okay, how to do this? FA1 cross FA2. So what will be the states? What will be the ordered pairs? One will be Q0, Q3. Correct? Then Q0, Q4. How I am finding Q0, Q3, Q0, Q4, Q0, Q5. Then Q1, Q3, Q1, Q4, Q1, Q5, Q2, Q3, Q2, Q4, Q4, Q2, Q5. Correct? The same way I have to write down over here as well because it will help me out. Okay? Then Q0, Q5. Then Q1, Q3. Q1, Q4. Q1, Q5. Then Q2, Q3. Q2, Q4. Q2, Q5. You know about cross product, so it's similar to that. Correct? So I have got all the ordered pairs. Now these ordered pairs, each in ordered pairs will be considered as an 1-1 one, one state. Okay, now how to find, how to uh, draw the final diagram? This will be a final automata. Finite, this will be the final minimal automata. Okay, how to draw this? Let me draw all these states. Okay, so I have drawn the states. Okay, now if you look into these particular states, uh, first we have to find out the initial state. Initial state is, for first one is Q0 and the second one is Q3. So Q0, Q3 will become the initial state. Which one is Q0, Q3? Q0, Q3. So I will make this as an initial state. Now I have to find out which are the final states. See, Q1 was the final state and Q4 was the final state. Firstly, Q1, Q4 to definitely will become final state. So I have made this one as the final state. Now, whosoever is the combination of with Q1 and Q4, then that those states will also be a final state. So Q1, Q3 is also a final state. Clear? Then Q2, then uh, Q1, Q5, yes, this will also be a final state. Okay, then uh, Q0, Q4 is also a final state. As Q4 was the final state. Then Q2, Q4 will also be a final state. And then finally, Q2, Q5 is not a final state. Q0, Q5 is also not a final state. So these four are the five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five are the final states. Now I'm done with the uh, states. Now I will be trying to draw the transitions. Okay, how to draw the transitions? First, Q0, Q, Q0, Q3 together. Okay, Q0, Q3 on sing A, on sing input alphabet A, where it is going Q1, Q3. See? Q0 for Q0, A is going to Q1. For Q3, A is going to Q3. Definitely, we can say a combination of Q1, Q3. So, A will, for A, it will go to Q1, Q3. Like this, you have to find out. It's very simple. It will take a landier one, but it will be a perfect exam, perfect answer for you. Okay, now Q0, Q3. Q0, Q3 on sing B, where it is going? Q0 for B, Q0. And Q3 for B, Q4. So, Q0, Q4. So, for B, it is going to Q0, Q4. Clear? For Q1, Q3, for Q1, Q3, okay, Q1, Q3, where it is going for A, it is going to Q0, Q2, and Q2, Q3. Correct? So Q2, Q3 is here. Clear? Now Q1, Q3, uh, Q1 and Q3 for B, where it is going? It is going to Q1, Q4. Correct? See, you can check it out. Uh, for B, where it is going? It is going to Q1, Q4. Clear. Similarly, now I will move to Q1, uh, Q1, Q4. Okay, Q1, Q4 on sing A, where it is going? It is going to Q2, Q4. Correct? See, uh, Q1, Q4, Q1, Q4 on sing A, where it is going? For Q1, it is going to Q2. For Q4, it is going to Q4. Correct? That means it will go to Q2, Q4. Where is Q2, Q4? Q2, Q4 is here. Clear? Then Q1, Q4, Q1, Q4 on sing B, where it is going? Q1, Q1, 
Q, uh, for Q1, for B, it is going to Q1. For Q4, for B, it is going to Q5. So it will be Q1, Q5. Clear? Now I am left out with Q1, Q5. Okay, Q1, Q5 on seeing A, where it is going. Q2, Q5. Correct? Q2, Q5. See. Then Q1, Q5 on seeing B, where it is going. It is going to itself only. So there will be a self loop for B. Done. Similar way I have to do with all these states. Okay. So Q0, Q4. Q0, Q4 on seeing A, where it is going. It is going to Q1, Q4. See? Correct? So what will be the transition? It will be the, the transition will be like this. Okay. And this will be A. Now Q0, Q4 on seeing B. Q0, Q4 on seeing B. Q0, Q4 on seeing B, where it is going. It is going to Q0, Q5. Correct? So this will be your diagram for B. Okay, now Q2, Q3, we are left out with only three states. Q2, Q3, Q2, Q3. On seeing A, where it is going, it is going to Q2, Q3 only. Correct? So it will be a self loop. Now Q2, Q3, on seeing B, where it is going to Q2, Q4. Correct? So now it will be very much clear. It will be fast now. Q2, Q4, on seeing A, it is going to Q2, Q4 only. Okay, and Q2, Q4 on sync B, where it is going to Q2, Q5. Okay, finally Q2, Q5 is left out. Q2, Q5 you can see on A and B both are going to the same state. So there will be a self loop for this and it will be A comma B. So this is your final diagram for the compound automata. Okay, where the language says that there is one A or one B. Clear? Now we are done with example number one. Hope it is clear to everyone. Okay. Now, uh, if you are if you if you are having any kind of problem, please comment down below. Okay. Now we will move to another problem uh, where we will look into the um, the the topic. Okay. Okay. Now the second number example says that there is even number of A and the even number of B. Definitely and and or for both the condition we have to use compound automata. Okay. So let me draw like the same way. Finite automata one. That is even number of A, correct? And uh, finite automata 2, this will be even number of B, okay? Now, if I draw this even number of A and even number of B, the diagram will be even number of A. So, I am drawing like this. This will be suppose Q0. And uh, you, you, I have uh, in the first uh, lecture where we have defined about deterministic construction of deterministic finite automata, I have taken the cases for even number of A, even number of B. Okay, this is just one kind of uh, you can say uh, prototype model. Okay, where uh, the 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 the, form, the 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 construction is very similar. Okay, where suppose even number of A, I will take even number of A means initially it will be epsilon. Then case for two, case for four, case for six, case for eight, like this. Okay. So if it is an epsilon, then initial will be always a final state. Correct. So even number of A. So I have taken one more state and I have backtracked this A. Now you can check for sing for two A's, one, two. For three, four A's, one, two, three, four. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a perfect answer. But we have to consider all A and B, correct? So B have no restriction, so I can take a self loop. So this will be B, and here also it will be B. So this is done for uh, finite automata one. Similarly, I have to draw for B. So you know about how to draw, and uh, I am taking as Q two, and this will be Q three. Okay. So even number of Bs I am taking. So this will be B. Now there is no restriction for A, so I have drawn the A part. So I have to, what I have to do now, I have to do now FA is equals to FA1 cross FA2. Okay, so what will be the states, you know, Q0, Q0, Q2. So the states will be like this. Since initial and final both are same, so Q0, Q2 will come together. Then one more state will be there. Okay, Q0, Q3, okay, Q0, Q3. Q0, Q3, then next will be Q, Q1, Q2, Q1, Q2, and one more is there, Q1, Q3. So these are the four possible ordered pairs will be possible, right? So since Q0, 
and Q2 both are final. So Q0, Q3 will also be final because Q3 is merged with a final state. Similarly, Q2 is a final state. So Q1, Q2 will also become a final state. So I have drawn like this. Okay, now I have got the answer. Okay, now I have to draw, draw the transitions. Okay, now Q0, Q0, Q2 on sing A, where it is going to? It is going to Q1, Q2, correct? So Q1, Q2 is here. So I will draw like this, clear? Q0, Q2 on sing B, where it is going to? It is going to Q0, Q3, correct? Similarly, I am done with this. Now I will be going to Q0, Q3. Q0, Q3 on sing A, where it is going to? is going to Q1, Q3, correct? Then Q0, Q3, Q0, Q3 on sing B, it is going to uh, Q0, Q2, correct? Q0, Q2. Clear? Then left out with Q1, Q2. Q1, Q2 on sing A, where it is going? It is going to uh, Q1, Q2 on sing A, it is going to, this is Q1 for Q0 and Q2 for a that is q not q2 correct so this will be backtracking over here okay q1 q2 on sing b where it is going it is going to q1 q3 so i can draw like this okay now left out with q1 q3 okay q1 q3 q1 and q3 on sing a where it is going it is going to q not q3 correct so i can draw a backtrack over here and q1 q3 on sing b where it is going it is going to q not Q2. So this will be a backtrack. And this is your final con, uh, construction of um, this one compound automata where we have got two conditions that is, there is even number of A and even number of B. Clear? Now we are left out with last example where we will be looking into number of B's. Okay. Number of B's we have to talk about and number of A's we have to talk about. Okay. So Okay, so uh, this is the example number three and uh, for uh, time consuming, I have already drawn the stuff. Okay, I've taken the ordered pairs. I have drawn the states as well. Okay, now uh, I will get back to the language and will let you know that the string containing at least two A's. Okay, that means at least two A's means initially it will be two A and it can be more than two A's as well. Okay, so that means restriction comes here that starting should be always two A's and it can be more number of A's after that. So I have taken for two A's, I have taken one A and two A, correct? So this will be two A's. So at least is done. Now after that, we can have N number of two A's, right? So what I have taken, I have taken a self loop for A. Since there is no restriction for B, I have taken self loop for every state in order to fulfillment of our DFA as well and to the fulfillment of the diagram as well, the language as well. So this is F1, FA1. FA2, what it says, number of B's is equivalent to 0 mod of 3. This means the number of B's is a multiple of 3. Clear? 0 mod of 3 means what? Remainder is 0 after mod of 3. That means number of B's mod of 3, 0 is, is equals to 0 means what? Multiple number of B's are multiples of 3. So what I can do for multiples of 3 means uh, initially it will be 0. Then it will come up with 3. Then I come up with 6, come up with 9, right? So for 3 Bs, uh, 0 it is initial and final. For 3 Bs, 1, 2, 3. For 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For 9, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Correct? So Bs are done. Now A, have don't, uh, A doesn't have any restriction for every state. I have put a self loop for A. Correct? So these are the two finite automatas that we have got. Now we, after cross product, we will be getting these ordered pairs that we already have discussed. Correct? So after getting these ordered pairs, I have put down into this particular diagram. Now let, me, let us check one after another how to work on. See, I won't be taking the entire steps. I will be just showing you only one, uh, one or two cases and then I will rest, I will give you the diagram. Okay, so Q0 and Q3. Q0 and Q3 on sing A where it is going. Q0 and Q3 on sing A, it is going to Q1 and Q3, correct? Q1 and Q3. So where is Q1 and Q3? It is this one, correct? I will show you the similarities, see. Now Q1 and Q3, I will try to check out first. Q1 and Q3 on sing A where it is going to Q2 and Q3. Q1 
and Q3 over here, see it is going downwards. So this will be a similar diagram. If we talk about Bs, Bs will go in this fashion. And As, it will go in this fashion. If you check, it will be the same answer that I have told you. Okay. Now Q0 and Q3 on seeing B. Q0 and Q3 on seeing B where it is going to Q0 and Q4. So this will be your this way. Okay, and then Q, Q0 and Q4, you check it. Q0 and Q4 on seeing B where it is going Q0 and Q5. Clear? Same way it will repeat again and again with other states as well. Okay, so I would suggest that I will explain, I will give you the diagram now. So this will be your final diagram. Okay, see uh, there will be similarities. You can pause the video and you can cross verify with all these uh, uh, pairs and you will get this, this diagram. See for A, it is in this fashion. For B, it is in this fashion. Correct. So you can check it out once you are done with it because you have understood how to uh, how to check the transitions okay so thank you this is all about your uh, compound automata where you have learned how two different type of languages can be merged together into one particular finite automata okay if you are having any suggestion if you're having any query please comment down below it would be great and uh, please subscribe my channel so that you will be getting the updations i have already updated a lot of videos over here uh, where i have updated unit number three unit number four okay so I'll be updating soon with unit number two as well, where we'll be learning about regular expression. Okay, thank you for watching. Please stay safe, stay safe and then we will get back to you. Thank you.